do we have? Transcoding. Let's take a look. Stop. <laughs> Come on. What do we got? What do we got? Yes, we have transcoding. Fantastic. Right. Um, social media ring then. Poked by Mihalik. Are you actually live? I'm not sure when that boss guy, world boss, is actually up. <clears throat> I have no idea. I'm looking at a Christmas tree at the moment and posting links. <laughs> Savik, oh my god, a surprise stream to the surprise of everyone that doesn't read the schedule. I hadn't changed it since last week, so it still had the Thursday stream on it. And then Mihalik messaged me on the bookface. Uh, not on bookface, the other one. What's it called? Discord, yes. Messaged me there and said, literally... Yo, will you be streaming today? You don't have an updated uh, schedule on Twitch. This week I could play today, literally only today. Yeah, I did miss the Wednesday one. Well, I didn't miss it. I just didn't know it was Wednesday. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about it. I was convinced it was still Tuesday. Don't know how I lost the day, but hey. I has figured out what was going on with the nose and everything yesterday it was just a cold I, I knew it was people going oh you might have got the new no 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 I had uh, one ibuprofen so uh, 200 milligram uh, one I, oh, ibuprofen felt perfectly fine again no stop running and everything it always does with colds me and ibuprofen it's, the, it's, a, it's sort of my cure all Right, let's go to the live screen. Am I a guana man today? No, <laughs> I actually look vaguely human. Um, usually the um, the camera just, you know, just goes to crap. Anyway, right, yes, we're here. I'm looking at the big thing. I'm going to go get a Christmas mission. Ah, yes, I got two spare bags. I'm going to get naughty children, see what they drop again. What was the perk line everyone said I should take instead? Because I've got uh, Cybernetic Samurai for the add damage. An extra fast attack and everything. Not that I really need it. Was it Holy Mark? Let's have a look. Holy Mark gives Mark of Vengeance special evade debuff. I think I've got this on my other keeper, you know. Actually, now I'm th I'm going to log, quick log, you know, log in the old keeper and just see what I had on him. I might have it set up that way in there, but I think it was Mihalik said to change it at some point. So, 
yeah. Let's have a look. I'm going to log back to my original old uh, keeper. -er. I think it was Holy Mark. It was Holy Mark or something else with evades on it or something. They're saying that'll make you even more tanky. I was thinking, yeah, but... I think this is what it is. He wanted more active heals. And I, at the time I did it, I was thinking, well, this is this is one where I can, if I choose to in the future, it would be quite easy to switch to melee energy. Let me just check my old keeper. Uh, enforcer keeper. Let's have a look. Doug Kane, welcome and do the stream. For whatever reason, I put my old keeper in here. Let's have a look. Blessing, Crusade, Holy Mark. He does have Holy Mark, yeah. So my original setup did have it, and I think I wanted to try something new, so I went with Cybernetic Samurai. Aura of Revival would be nice, but you don't really need it. Yeah. So I must have done it that way around then. You know, this was the, how it used to be and, and not how it is now. Hmm, interesting. Maybe that's why Mahalik wanted me to have that set up, so I would have spare heals for him. I do use them, actually, like that. Duncan, welcome to the stream. So I'd have even stronger evades, but fewer heal, uh, heal perks. That's interesting. I would also lose a bit of add damage as well, wouldn't I? Because this has... Five... Seven... So that's twelve... Uh, Twenty-one... Thirty-three... No. Oh god, I've lost count now. We're gonna go from the big ones, it's easier. So forty-three seventy-five a hundred hundred and twenty-two hundred and forty hundred and fifty-five hundred and sixty-six 175 107 that's weird 182 and 5 again usually they add up to round numbers but not tonight so yeah you'd be losing like nearly 200 add all, add all uh, damage which is quite a lot to lose to be honest And Seppuku Slash Special will be more effective than this fact deals direct damage. Well, yeah, because I, I mean, I'm using it on this tune. That that's the thing. And somebody said, why have you got that? You should have Holy Mark. And I was like, man, that does sound right. But why don't I have it? Why did I put it in there? I remember doing it, and I have a feeling it was Mahalik saying, no, get that, more add damage. You've already got decent um, evades anyway. And I was like, oh, yeah. Hey, stop the naughty children. Let's go and get fun things. 
because reasons. Yeah, so the, the, either way is valid, I think. You've got higher evades on a Solitus over an Atrox anyway. So maybe. I, I, I like the way the build feels to play. The damage is quite high, so, you know. Um, yeah, we'll leave it for now. I might experiment with it, though. It's only perk that I'm swapping. Yeah, I like this one. I like the extra new... Oh, it's over 200, isn't it? Add all damage. I was trying to do it quickly, but I'd like this. But, yeah, if you look, you've got... Uh, what do you have? Cybernetic Samurai. So you've got 43, 32, so that's uh, 75 straight away. Uh, 75, 25, so that's 100. 122, 138 and 2 for 140. 155, 165, 166. Uh, 165, 172, 178. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I prefer the aura over active heals myself with Holy Mark. Yeah. So Holy Mark has an aura as well. Gamel, one, 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 one. Welcome to the stream. That's aura of revival, isn't it? Yeah. Passive heal. Yeah. It, that's really. That's more. I think that's more useful at lower levels. Because you've just got redonkulous amounts of healing for low level, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Mahalik said, don't take that, take this instead. And I was like, okay. I, I did take it early on, though. It made more sense at low levels. Or a holy mark and bio shielding, yeah. Savik doesn't have bio shielding, I think. I like that sort of complete absorb line. It's uh, it's pretty nice. And there's no right and wrong, you know. There's no absolute meta other than two hand edged and this weapon. Got. I got treated myself to a new mess, man. I'm already getting crumbs and things on it. I am a bad person. Yeah, both our keepers are good in their own way. Yours does more damage than mine. Mine can sort of off-tank a little better. Ooh. Snow globe. I haven't got that. And frozen excavation gloves. Excuse me. Why is it now? Is it this bloody foam on the end of the microphone or something? Somebody's making my nose. Something. <laughs> Welcome, and it's perfectly fine. Mind you, I just took another ibuprofen about 20 minutes ago, so we'll see. Sharkini, welcome to the stream. Have I got Golden Star Nano Spray? Probably not. I just came out of that place. Going this away. <laughs> I love your spelling. Every stream I have a new spelling. Do you? Why do you keep changing your name? Oh, you mean the way I pronounce it? If you mean the way I, you, that I pronounce it, absolutely. Uh, 
Shariki, yeah. I read the K before the I. This is dyslexia for you, though, you see. People don't realise. <laughs> Shariki. Shariki. Okay, I'll try and remember that. Why can't you have a proper name, like... Huswak... Subix Keeper. Okay, I'll get the bikini. No, I'm not putting it on so you can all perv over it. You know what you're like. Yes, you do. Yeah, my mouse feels faster. I haven't changed any mouse settings, but the new mouse map feels like uh, I'm tracking faster on it or something. I am not sniffling all the way through the stream. It's horrible. I'm going to blow my nose now. Right, I'm back. I'm giving my nose a good blow. And welcome to the stream with the Dancing Santa. Not clickable. Okay. I must kill the glacial spine tooth. Violet action figure, okay. It's a bit dark and creepy in here for Christmas, so let's up the brightness a little. There we go. Bearded box with a bow. I think I've already got or had one of those. Lethargic spine tooth. Yeah, so I don't know really. <clears throat> I might I might redo the perk and just go out and play with it a little bit, but I've got used to this now, so I don't know. I may do at some other point play. Ooh, we've got a ski. Manix ear protection units. You already have this unique item. Oh right, okay. God knows where I've got those then. Um, but never mind. Siljar Russell, remember to work out your ears. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Okay, that, that we can share. We can share that with the rest of the class. <laughs> I, I like it. Cute cat pictures are allowed. We will allow such things, yes we will.
And we have floating silver star torch shoulder. Ah, I could. Uh, there you go. Could do with one of those. It is actually a light source as well. So it's quite nice. There's another floating one that goes like above it or something. It all gets a little weird on the new engine with the lighting. Feel the power of my star. It was hitting him in the... It was like slapping him across the face. Gift-wrapped mittens. You already have this item. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realise the Atrox ski rack is actually a bag. It's a container. Which is kind of cool. Remember, Cat's got 32 muscles in each ear to help them ignore you better. Yes. And keep a track of where their servants are. <laughs> Dog, dogs have owners, cats have staff. Yumi Hiwi! Welcome to the stream, nice to see you. Holiday hologram. You already have this item. Okay, we've already got that one. Find some new things. Oh yeah, my mouse does feel much sort of precise just a generic rate well it's a raise of large but I put them in portrait so I can leave my arm on them I can move from one side of the screen to the other in that space so yeah what do we get on this one dancing Santa again I know I've got that we're not even staff with a cat op with a can opener yeah <laughs> Yeah, we, we used to have three cats at one time. Well, they got older and, you know, winter sweater, yay! Got a nice winter sweater. There we go. Big ugly thing! Get near the middle. Get under his feet and away from the... What's it? Ice. Don't be in the frosty ice thing of doom. No. I'm inside the ice golem. So, winter jacket? You already have. You already have. You already have. Sleeve? I got a sleeve. I think I already have Crown of Winter. Yeah. So I'd already got all these. Not to worry. We have more to kill yet. Two indoor cats. I'm sure how many live under the barn. Last I checked, two adults and eight kittens. Oh, God. Need to get on top of that. Or you will be overrun with them. You know this. I mean, they'll keep all the vermin down, that's for sure. But <laughs> then they become a problem in themselves, you know. It turns into, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. <laughs> It turns into that kind of a thing, you know? Yeah, two adults and eight kittens will soon turn into 32 adult cats, you know. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. She swallowed a spider to catch the fly. So on and I can't remember it now. Is it follow, swallows a spider, then... No, a fly, then a spider. And what does she swallow for the spider? And it ends up... She ends up swallowing a horse or something stupid. Um, <laughs> it's just a... It's a... You know... It's just a silly nursery rhyme thing, you know, it's not, it's not meant to be 
<laughs> scrutinized under any logic. Right, let's take out the ads. Yeah, all our cats in, were neutered. You should, because it just ends up with a load of stray cats. We did, one of our cats was a stray that we took in. I quite liked him as well. Um, but he, being the nature he was, after a, he'd been with us for a few years, he started looking for new homes. You know? And eventually he'd go off and visit um, some people we didn't know that lived a few doors away. So we let him go and live with them. Because he seemed to keep going there, so we were like, yeah, go on, you can, you, you can keep it. Why am I? I think it's the AOE or something from somewhere. This is when active healing is quite good. <laughs> this is where it becomes useful. I have got that running, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. Having a few wild cats around the farmstead is, is kind of good for keeping vermin down, but then before you know where you are, the cats are the bloody vermin. They're getting into the chickens and whatnot. It was more before I captured the boys and got them neutered as I got two female cats myself, but also it's free to get them done while female cats, you need a true application process, yeah. Uh, we got the helm. We got helmet. Yes, we do. We has tree dress. Yay. Um, golden star nano spray. I think we already picked up, but okay. And frozen excavation satchel. I think we've already got sweater. We have. Yep. Frostburn nitrogena of doom. I'm sure we've got the Christmas lights, but I'll take them anyway because it's the last mob in here. Can't take that because it's already a thing. Where was the... Wasn't there another corpse? Are they... The corpse is... Did he move? Dancing Santa. Wasn't there another one over here? Maybe I looted it. I'm not sure. And the penumbra portal you can't get to. Hehehe. <laughs> Let's face it, cat. if cats had not been this damn cute, they'd have been hunted down like vermins today. Probably, yeah. But they are they are very, you know, the adorable animals. And they know this. They know they are. They know they can manipulate you. It is just what it is. I mean, all dogs were kind of evolved from inbreeding uh, wolves or whatever, weren't they? That's why pedigrees are so bloody loopy these days. <clears throat> They're completely inbred. <laughs> you can, that's why they have all the problems they do. You get, a, uh, you get anything like a working dog, though, like any kind of collie. No, they don't do inbreeding with those because it doesn't breed a, a working dog. They want intelligent, trainable animals that can do the job they're designed for. So it's quite a different kettle of fish altogether. You get a better animal anyway, you get a healthier animal. I'm too far away, apparently, from the grid. It was feeling lonely. It wanted a cuddle. A chihuahua used to be a scary wolf. It did. And they kept selecting for smaller and smaller animals, and that's what you end up with. 
but to even a Great Dane will sniff at you out and go, oh, another dog. <laughs> dogs, dogs don't understand xenophobia or anything like it, you know? They go, oh, a dog. Yeah, maybe we could be more like that. Oh, another who man, you know? We may have different coats and colours, but, you know, we're all humans. Except that there's differences, you know, like gold, a golden lab and a, and a black lab. Still Labrador. <laughs> you know, <laughs> simple as that, really. Right, let's do naughty, not naughty children, let's do gingerbread house. What do you need help with? What is the workshop? What is it? Goodbye. We go to Uncle Bazitz. Let's go and check in on Stella Barnes. You never know. My tank armor's vanished. That's no good. Why did my tank armor go? Oh, maybe I need to... No, the star makes my tank armor go away. That's no good. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's way too many bragging rights lost there. Stella has the plus ten. Show the young woman your wrist. Oh, God. And talk to channel clan OCC. Show the young woman your wrist. There you go. Yeah, Chihuahua, Great Dane. All related. Great Dane essentially is bred from terriers, I think. They have quite a small heart for the size of the animal. Right, meet me there. We will test our snowball fighting skills or try a room I haven't done yet. Just because. Why not? And I've gone to the wrong exit. <laughs> Without even realising. Dirt, nope, other end of the grid. Yeah. Meet me there. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure how... I think maybe we found a pup and raised it at some point. Mankind did. And because the pup was raised by humans, um, it wasn't afraid of them. It, and it protected them. So then they started doing it more often. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It's lost in there. There's no history for it. No written history, at least. Right, we've got a uh, throwing gallery button, gift wrapping button we did, package sorting room, factory room, factory storage button, and transportation room. Uh, package. We'll go snowball throwing gallery button. God, it's dark. In then why, 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 it's a nice gingerbread place. Why is it so dark? Right, where's... Where's my... Snow, uh, throw snowball, snow snowball, uh, before we get going. It's a combat nano, I think. Throw snowball 2.1, throw snowball 2.2, .2. clarion call. No, we don't want clarion call, that would just get silly. Okay, we speak to the scared elf fleet. Hello, elf fleet, why are you hiding? I find an Airedale Terrier pretty. I, I like, you know, huskies, collies, dogs that look closer to wolves, I suppose. With a decent length of snout. Maybe I just because I grew up with um, Lassie and things like that and collies everywhere when I was a kid. Grew up with a, a huge Alsatian. Infected, must die, has snowball.
Alien infested gift. Yeah, you can see the snowball there. Elf fleet worker, you you may live. Alien infested. Poof. <laughs> like weakest throw ever. And rolling the ball at it. Little elf leet, you may live. What else do we have? I'm watching. Is ah, he's not getting past me. A regular gift? No, the regular gift can pass. Elf leets are kind of cute with the big shoes, yeah. <laughs> Come talk to me, okay. Did you see I rocks? Goodbye. Express elevator, navigation room button. So we're back in the first room now. Click again. We got the transport room button. No, you must die very, very quickly. You and your ads. As rooted, you're going to die. You probably can die in here, actually. <laughs> Don't think I ever have, but you probably can. I do this, and I bio cocoon myself as well. I think you meant to kill these as, as well. Need to take that off there. <laughs> we need to make Elf Leet Nano Drop so we can transform into it. That would be kind of fun, yeah. Yeah, these are like fanatics kind of thing, aren't they? They just... Once, once they've been around for too long, they explode and do loads of damage. I don't think they actually drop any, didn't they? Not even credits. Nope. There's a Prezi here. Santa Leet gift. Ooh. You already have and a placard, which I think I actually already have. Have I got this one? Nope. Okay. Oh, we got Santa Wheat naughty boxes. Not sure why they're naughty, they're boxes. Boxes aren't naughty, what are you on about? Okay, next one. Um, already got item. Next one. Another Leet Nano. Leet action figure. Okay. And penumbric painting. Okay. Santa Leet. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, I mean, Enforcers used to have... Uh, not Enforcers, Advies used to have something like that. Yes, I would like to leave now. Kadumph. Geronimo. Yes, indeed. Oh, the joy. Hmm, let's go and check on a couple of diners, shall we? 
its own gifts that explode you see them yeah I saw it yeah so a little bit like um what's the names a little bit more like um fanatics they spawn and then detonate on you let's check on the creepy spider of doom bring back fall damage so folks go splat no <laughs> let's not bring it back Mihalik, welcome to the stream how are you Hey, well, I saw your message. Are you streaming or are you not streaming? Because schedule might not have been updated. And that's the real reason there's a stream is I hadn't updated the schedule. So I thought, you know what? I, I didn't do one on Monday, so maybe I should do one Thursday as well. So we have been doing, we have been doing the... Um, the Christmas stuff so we were doing the little Christmas missions and then I decided I was going to come out and get catch a few diners if you want to go do something we can solo the first gauntlet boss on my little fixer ah I don't think I've ever soloed the gauntlet boss on any of my tunes I don't think I've ever tried, but I don't think I, I'm pretty sure I never have either. Bag weight, yeah. <laughs> when it used to have weight at the bottom, heavy. Uh, and you couldn't run as fast. I always forget the damn procs. Here we go. second boss can't be rooted yeah i was hearing that on the discord someone saying they couldn't snare the um the plague rock pet uh, um azzy uh, abby in the big dungeon so i don't know whether they just were trying the wrong way or but you know i don't know <clears throat> They didn't specifically say shackles isn't working. They just said they couldn't snare them, so I don't know. As far as I know, uh, you can't root them. You can only snare them, and shackles is the most effective snare on them. heal have I got there? Lasting ultimatum. Right, creepy, have you got anything nice for me? Uh, half digested and no. Oof, no, nothing in that one. Whoa, my god, what? There, have a beer on me later. A cheap off-brand beer. <laughs> <laughs> Alec donated $3.40. Have a beer on me later. Cheap off-brand beer. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, dear. Beer is beer. You can just about get a beer for that in the UK. Like if you go to a bar or something, I mean. You get it cheap, but you, know, you can buy like a bottle or something in the supermarket. But thank you very much for the donation. Much appreciated. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> it was three euro. It converted into dollars. It, it's because it goes through Twitch, I think. And Twitch is an American company. So whatever you do, whatever you donate in, it, 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 it figures out whatever that is in dollars. I think you have to convert the currency in like PayPal or something first and then don't... Oh, I don't know.
they has their own thing but yeah whatever even when british people donate pounds and pence it still comes up as dollars uh, i think it's just a twitch thing so you know Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you for the donation and don't worry about the conversion thing. Yeah, it's a 70, is it 17, 18 hour timer on that? Go and check on the other two. You never know. But yeah, if you want to do something, Mahalik, log on in and we'll uh, we'll try and get something done. DB3, Subway, something like that. Some of the big scary stuff, why not? Yeah, I know I have been to... Um, I definitely have been to Gauntlet more than once. Um, I was working on shoulder pads from it, but I just looked at how many parts and whatnot I needed and just went, oh my god <laughs> i can't be asked with this <laughs> i know it's bad but yeah i just looked at it and went uh, uh, no pyramid of home subway db3 whatever it's all fun Especially the right pad is great. For most people, the best pad there is. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, I know, I know. No, is that the one there? So, so a thousand on stats. That's easy to get a twink to. Max health. Bio nano met oh that's pretty good. Fifteen to all damage XP critical increase three. Oh that's nice. Yeah, that is pretty nice, yeah. Big Meanie, welcome to the stream. Has you got a new twink yet? <laughs> Do you need any pyramid of home? The third Um spirit capsule on the enforcer would be the most immediate thing from there I'm taking a break from twinking you, yeah you did you did you know seriously well on those that level one is nuts and then someone had a level one soloing um abby and virgil came running in as well because someone else was trying to kill virgil and died on them and they put a video up um which they recorded during my stream with my stream running in the background because you can hear me talking all the way over their video youtube flagged it to me <laughs> someone had used it i just went ignore <laughs> yeah it was pretty funny he put in the title um but with bonus Kalos voices or something. <laughs> Zazen 2 OP. Zazen is really good though. It's, it's suddenly your, your MA is a dock at low levels, is a dock with um, better heals, more damage. <laughs> and uh, evades. Go LFT. Okay. Oh look, it already says Mihalik on there. How about that? From the last time. Okay, we join Alexander's team. So we're in Mihalik's team. Because Mihalik says so. Has his own emote, you know. And trash. Where do we want to go then? Pyramid or where are we going? Pyramid, get that third thing. I want to get the uh, Healy HUD as well. 
for the enforcer, the protective drone. I want to get that on them. Because Mihalik says so, because Mihalik says so, because Mihalik says so, because Mihalik says so, because Mihalik says so. Yes, there you go. <laughs> you, you has your own emote. I can do animated ones as well. Well, I, I mean, what I mean by that is that um, Twitch have said, you can have animated emotes. And it's like, how, how, how do I animated emote? <laughs> I have no idea. How does this work? I has no idea how to do it. I might start with experimenting with that. I don't know. We going straight in or form a team and do a DB2 for the buff first? Gonna go hit DB2 first. Okay. Yeah, low buff. And we have Savik in the team. Yay, she's on horror suits. <laughs> A rot suit ha, as they say. The U is like a W, like in Latin. Okay. Oh. How, you, you're just going to have to get a microphone, Savik, and tell us how to say these words. DB2 is the maze up in the air. You can fall off. Oh, yes. Excuse me. Oh, Dockalypse is feeling lazy. I mean, I can dock if you want. I know the keeper's bloody useful, but... As long as they turn up with buffs, the keeper's just as useful. If you can't say it, just call a pat. I just call him Savvy. <laughs> it's like, hey, Sav. <laughs> Why, Doc, I can't loot on the fixer. Of course you can. Park your fixer outside. I'm going to be looting on my enforcer. To get to at least the third boss for this thingy there. Draden187 just subscribed. They've subscribed for nine months. Yay! Hey, got you on a weekday stream, I know. Dun dun dun. I do I do, do them occasionally, you see. Anyway, thank you for the resub, much appreciated. just chain die on the run there it's impossible it's not easy i'll say that it's not easy it is possible though i i usually die trying as well 
my new job is doing well, just it's all weekend, so that sucks a bit. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I used to burn the candle at both ends. I worked as a retail manager, so I was in every weekend. Plus, I was a musician, so I was out gigging every weekend. So my weekends were like <laughs> 18, 19 hour days one after the other, and sometimes do Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday gig. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, we're always really knackered. It's hard to keep that up. Yeah, I did it for ooh, nearly 10 years. You build up a stamina for it, but, yeah, it's hard. It is time I updated my baths. So I'm going to update my buffs. Does anybody else want to come along that's done this raid before? Preferably. I don't mind taking new people as long as it's only one. I don't want like three completely new people going, Oh my god, what am I doing? Is it full already? Ah, right, okay. Mihalik has already invited other people, so sorry everybody. Quick DB2. Yep, get the big buff. I'm just hoping I can manage to run down on the Enforcer. Usually I can. It's going to take a while, five minutes. Okay. I was going to say, I can come as a reflect totem as I do not know Pyramid of Ohm. Oh, you've got to know Pyramid of Ohm to do it. We'd be better learning Pyramid of Ohm off stream, put it that way. <laughs> Take the pressure off for a start, otherwise you'd just be like, Oh God, what have I done? You know, and all that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of tactics on the various bosses, and if you don't know them, you just you're going to get you and half the team killed kind of thing, so. Whole five minutes. <laughs> right. In which case, I'm going to get a fresh drink. PP while Adono arrives, okay.
<clears throat> right, I'm back, I'm back. Come on, invisible lip of doom. There we go. Yes, I started making a drink, and then <laughs> this is Carlos. Oh, I'll have a coffee. So then I had to make two drinks. You see. It happens. It's not the end of the world. No. coffee that's right i made it that for three hours ago it might taste a bit burned by now just a bit that's a new thing I think it's dead. Yay for the buff. It refuses to let me click on the exit. There we go. <laughs> 16 seconds. Join Cabbage Net. Everybody else head to Pyramid of Home. Yes. Head to Pyramid of Home is... There we go. Poof. <laughs> it was 16 seconds ahead of uh, the DB codes themselves. Always drops you somewhere slightly odd. It's never quite the same place twice either. Never, it's always, sometimes it's at the back of this shot, and then other times it's elsewhere. Yeah, I look at the colour of my old mo mouse map versus the colour of my new one. And my old one, which was black originally, um, <laughs> it's now grey. Which tells you just how filthy it probably was. Cabbage net. Mm. Only one of them. There we go.
Docalypse, now I'll have to be careful what I say in team chat. No, you won't. <laughs> say hi to Carlo Risa partly because of him. There you go. Oh, I've got a um, portal. We're already doing the do. My god, that was quick. So, yeah, the coffee I made for Mrs. is just a cup of instant, you know, it's not, not anything, you know. Bitnik's map because Bitnik has the inside of here done no one does experimental docks Yeah, the thing is, it's, we've got a coffee machine and all that, and it just ends up never getting used except on days off and things. The rest of the time it just gets... whatever. <laughs> Cup of instant in four minutes, there you go. Yay, Vortex Soul. We were miles out on that spawn. That shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have worked as well as it did, but hey. Come on for the protective drone on the first boss, so I can at least get that <laughs> on the enforcer. Anti-fear is up and running and in the hot slot for the fight. No fear over here. Chain casting fear. Is on a me. Yeah, I'll 
has got him. Mihalik has him in the can. Is the stream bright enough? Do you want a little more light? There we go. <laughs> Ah, spiced wine says Kunuta Kun Quanotus. I have no idea. They're going to watch the stream and go, oh my god, please. Spiced wine. I like just regular red or white. I don't like either. It's my thing. As I forgot my coffee, I went and made myself a cup of hot cocoa and cream. Yep. <laughs> I'm terrible. I have cups of tea and take them to bed <laughs> although I never take food into the bedroom no, it's like no food no TV bedrooms are for sleeping in mostly um, We aren't re-logging for loot, we do it after second boss. I want the thing! Sleeping and... yeah. <laughs> you know the drill. Mostly sleeping, yes. I know couples that have TVs in their bedrooms, things like that. Would, nope. Take the phone in there and have it as an alarm and um, audio books and stuff like that. Loot roll! Yay! I got the protective drone for the enforcer, if I can get the enforcer down here. Can't sleep in a silent room, so I got TV for white noise. It has a wife that snores. There you go. 
and insist she never ever snores. <laughs> Sometimes I want to get <laughs> record her, you know. <laughs> Elm Minster, Elm Minster, welcome to the stream. How the devil are you? Good, not complaining. That's the best way. Complaining rarely gets you anywhere. Cal with me, and I was already stood here. I know. This is how we did it last time. Of tanking, of tanking. We're doing the off tanking. Kill the odds. Which dungeon mission is this? This is Pyramid of Home. This is all year round, this one. Oh no! No, 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 no! <laughs> Bloody changes to red on me just as I get to it. Come on! Bloody thing. Almost died on it as well. There's like a tiny lip around it. <laughs> yeah, this is the pyramid of home. Uh, you don't have to wait um, <clears throat> for, you know, celebrations or anything. This is open all year round. You just need to be two... Oh, you need your nano deck or 215, I think, to enter. Or is it 201? Can't remember. Something like that, anyway. Furious Voidling, you shall die. <clears throat> yeah, I have got a guide video up for this. And we are kind of thus far doing it the same way, so... Off tanking, off tanking. I am off tanking. <laughs> and killing the odds. The faster you kill him, the more rads you get. So it shouldn't be like a um, race. To bring him down. No, we've got something. No! Oh, he's, then he got me as well. Just as I hit the green, he went for me. Come on. Pain voiling. I've still got the debuff. Still got it, and it bloody changed on me again. 
Right, that's definitely green though. I hate those altars changing on you. Uh, they just... Yeah, if you go on my channel, there's a Pyramid of Home guide, or you can go to Anarchy Online Universe, and there is a written guide there. Mine's slightly different, though, I think. I think mine's more like this. But either, you know, any method that works, works. DKP and an MV. Back to best for soldier. There he's with Mahalik. Every, every time he I do a, a raid or whatever with Mahalik, he's got something new. He had um, a raid pistol on or something the other day over there. And welcome to the stream, by the way. He had a raid pistol and something. I think it's situational. Okay, I'm a green donkey. Oh, for f Here I am bouncing off the ground dead. It's no problem. We dies, it's okay. The only, the only downside of dying is having to rebuff. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing I don't like about dying is, no, oh, I've got to rebuff now. Remember to pick up the HUD. Yeah, it's for the enforcer that. I've already, I've had it a long time on this tune. Can I res? Eh. Can I res? Yay. Let's have a look. I haven't rolled on any of these. Um, I don't need any of these, I don't think. No. Just the other stuff. PDKP and MV if I'm tanking. MV and raid pistol if I'm just DDing. There you go. I told you, it's always something different.
I'm going to park this inside Pyramid of Home and then do a quick relog. Do you think it's the way to go? Yeah, it's a very, very good guide, that. I, sh I should read it and do something with my soldier. <laughs> I just tease him, Mahali. from the door so people don't have to listen to that because Mihalik says so indeed so I need to do all the buffs on this bar Good thing about writing guides for AO, they almost never update the game, so you don't need to update your guide. <laughs> yeah, someone was asking, how does Father Time work and that? So Savik posted a link, which was just like, here's how to do Father Time and blah, blah. Immediately, you got um, moaners going... Um, Crap boss, rubbish loot, me. And I was like, oh, just get over yourself, seriously. <laughs> and this was in, you know, like, ugh. They, they, they crop up every event. So if there's a birthday event, oh my God, is this game still running? Oh my God, the, the, this thing is wrong and this thing is wrong. And oh my God, blah, 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 blah. And then they vanish into the night. Um, and then, you know, Christmas comes up. Same same people come back again. Oh my God, this is there. Blah, 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 blah. Lord, whatever he's called, you know. Um, oh, they treat you like this. And blah. And here's something I posted on Reddit. You should all read it, you cattle. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, oh, get over yourselves. The game is what it is. It, you know, play it, don't play it, whatever. Just, if you don't like it, don't play it. Just leave it, you know. Don't. One of them. Oh, God, it was funny. You'd have to. It's still there on Discord, I think. I don't think it got deleted yet. Um, One of them um, said, I was m misusing my influence by not addressing the issues and I should be addressing them because um, they made a post six years ago on the old forums that uh, I should be using my influence to address them. I'm like, why am I doing things for you? Tell, uh, um. <laughs> <coughs> Will there be any discounts? There's no discounts. The game... There hasn't been since AO went into maintenance mode, as far as I remember. <clears throat> and yes, Yumihimi came into the stream a little while ago, actually. And I said, welcome, Yumihimi. And this don't know. No. Ah, there we go.
Yoik! Yay! Protective drone hood. How am I not ready? What? I'm listening a bit busy at the minute. No problem. A lot of people do. A lot of people um, watch my videos and stuff with it minimised and just have me as like the radio, basically, I guess. So welcome to Talk Radio with Carlos 2. <laughs> I don't think anybody voted on uh, webbing. Capsule rotting on first boss. Yeah, I've already got that uh, capsule. That oink eight three eight. That's how I listen to most streams. Yeah, this is. I keep telling people this. Don't worry about making four K videos. Worry about getting your audio right. Because so many people just, you know, I'll oh, have that on in the background while I'm working, so they're not looking at your video. They're, you know, they're listening to your video. So your your audio is, you know, <clears throat> one of the most important things to take care of. People will watch a low quality video, like poor image quality, et cetera, et cetera. If the audio is really good, they don't, they'll, they'll watch it. They don't care. If you've got super high quality video, bit rate and all the rest of it, and the audio is bad, they won't watch it. They'll, they'll watch maybe half a minute and go, oh no. And they may not know about good or bad audio, but they know what sounds good or bad and just go, oh, I can't listen to this. That, that is absolutely the truth. And that's, that's not me just saying that. That's, that's like YouTube, YouTube experts, etc. You know, that's like everyone's opinion that matters says that. Because that's, that's the evidence, you know, in front of them. Okay, I'm... Ah, oh, there you go. So, yeah, if you want to make AO stuff, get your audio right. You know, even if you have to go record your voice on your on your phone in, in you know, inside a closet to get good audio quality, um, just do it if you have to. Got lucky with the uh, the HUD dropping on the very first boss there. Hi T.O. Derry, welcome to the video. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Elminster, I lower sometimes video quality of a game. Is lagging in parallel run. Yeah. I mean, someone recorded a, a video of their level one really brilliantly, uh, soloing Abby self-buffed. Um... <clears throat> And they uh, tackled Virgil at the same time because the person who was killing Virgil died, leaving them to carry the can. <laughs> and they still did it on a level one, which was bloody really good going. <coughs> I mean, in the background, they, they, they had my stream on, so obviously it recorded my stream audio as well. It was quite funny.
Now I'm at this one. There is another one north and one far north. Elminster, is, is that keeper? Yes, it is. Very keeper. Has the all the keeper gear on him. <laughs> yeah. I was looting on the Enforcer, though. Because the Enforcer needs bits from here, but a keeper for this team is, is better. Start getting superior Sentinel armor helmet on social for my team. Got four already. Now I am a real clanner. Can you suggest show me perks when you're not in a fight? Yeah, yeah. There's the, we were discussing this at the beginning of the stream, actually, the different perk setups you can use, and they still work. Overpower subscribed at Tier 1. They've subscribed for seven months. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, basically, when early on... Uh, you want Aura of Revival, because it's an auto hot. Uh, Blessing, Crusade, uh, Bioshield and Reaver, if you go in two-hand edge. Uh, I use Cybernetic Samurai, but you could use Holy Mark instead. And then I use Heavy Inventory, Infantry, and Nano Combat to save on IP. But there's there's more than one way of doing it. Savix had, has a crit build keeper that um, is quite different, quite different gear as well, like Cortex of the Executioner brain and you know all that kind of stuff. This build is Mahalik saying because I said so. Use these perks. <laughs> so I went, okay, if you say so. <laughs> I was ready down here by this one. He said, scritching the beard. Need it for PVM. This this build works very well for PVM and solar. And they finally get the square chip for my NT. Yeah, it's well worth having. Perennium bolts. Yeah. <laughs> They're a thing. Yeah, so Pyramid of Home, you can come and do, technically, you can do it any time. Obviously, you need six people, but I don't, I don't think it's doable with less than a full team. Certainly not the whole thing, anyway. It's doable with four, and the first boss is doable with two people. Yeah, I suppose. The enforcer and my doc. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine, yeah. As long as the one of you holds aggro and the other's able to stand at the other side of the room without the debuff and heal, yeah. But if you've never done it, I would read and watch a few guides and be prepared to die a few times as well because you probably will I mean when we were figuring out the subway my god we died a hundred times at least <laughs> before we sort of figured out the various um, different ways of doing it The Docalypse seems I will have home office next week. Ah. Apparently, hello, bow, bow, boss. <laughs> boss. 
sure, sure, she sure. <laughs> Something. Savik is the boss. Yes, Savik is. Forgot to rejoin Cabbage Net. I remembered to rejoin when I thought, oh yeah, we need the countdown, because you've got to kill, for each floor, at the first floor you only have to kill one of these, second floor you've got to kill two at the same time, um, then three, then four of them. They're not hard to kill. <laughs> What's hard is remembering where the hell you're going to get to <laughs> the other end. If you come here every couple of days or what have you, then definitely gets easier. through the meat curtains. <laughs> I couldn't think of what to call them as I was making the video. They went the like curtains made of meat, meat meat curtains and then someone pointed out that's a euphemism for something else. We're blitzing next floor. Okay. How do we blitz next floor then? Don't clear, just run to the boss room. Okay, I'll follow you. I didn't know that was possible, but okay. I guess it is. Do the mobs die on the fire as well? Follow me, Halleck. I think I may have blitzed it before. Like, but running in on an alt so I could loot. <laughs> yes, don't start without the doctor. It will not end well. I'm sure I have done this before as well. I'm sure I remember jumping on this exact altar part of things.
Yeah. Not ready message when trying to loot something is... Um, can't even remember what causes that. That is an odd one. Yeah, I'm sure I did. I came in and ran down to here uh, when we were running alts in to loot stuff. I think I was on crap and then running in with the keeper to get stuff. <coughs> I just couldn't remember how, how it worked. And mind you, I don't do perimeter home all that often. I kind of remember most of the fights and stuff, but um, don't remember it perfectly at all now. Mountain raising gauntlets, 500 million. They're pretty nice, actually. I'm not going to lie, they're pretty nice. So waiting on Dockerlips. That's okay for a second. <laughs> yes, it's time again for that music, isn't it? Every time I see SMGs, either eject or railgun, I get annoyed with Funcom. Don't put best in slot items on yearly event bosses. Yeah. Well, that's actually what that guy's post was about. He was saying, can we not buy these items via the Funcom store instead? And some people said, no, because that's pay to win. And some people said, no, that's valid because, and you know. Um... <clears throat> When I got the singing thing, you didn't do it like this. Well, that's because I'm trying to avoid copyright, but I've got license to use um, <laughs> that thing. Where is it? Uh, I can use that. Because <laughs> I've got license So if I sing that, I'm okay. Okay. I think we're good to go. Yeah, anti fear can go back over here. It doesn't get hot keyed. Another one somewhere. Yeah, 
Watch out for the big blazing line of death. Kill the ads to get the maiden to come down. This is the way. this dungeon in that each fight is a little different or a lot different <laughs> depending how you look at it kill the ads She should jump down, but she doesn't always jump down particularly well. Come on. She has this habit of going, well, just hang around here for a little bit. Wonder why she's spawned a bloody portal. <laughs> Okay. Does bug out this. Um, it didn't used to. It used to be pretty solid. Um, it just seems recently they've changed a few other things and suddenly she bugs a bit more than she used to. Sayona, slay... No. Ah. No, don't stand in there. Slayon is raiding with a party of 21. Thank you very much for the raid. No, he was an Anarchy Online fan. Shark JPEG is now followed. Thank you for the follow. Caught me just at the part where I can't really take my eyes off the game. But thank you very much for the raid. Fixer, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. We're in the middle of a... Um, Pyramid of Home Raid here, as you can see. Fixer is. He told us to come here. Well, thank you very much, Fixer. <laughs> what were you What were you um, playing just now? Was it Anarchy or something else? Where's the... Uh, no, she's not spawning ads. Okay. <laughs> I have to look at the game at this point. We're in a, uh, we're in a boss fight. Tormented Souls. Nice. Don't know it, but... Cool. Survival Horror. Oh, I'm terrible at those. <laughs> I, I don't hate them or anything, I'm just not very good at them. Yeah, this is a slightly complicated boss fight, so I can't chat very much just at this moment in time. You have to kill the ads to get the boss to come back off its safe spot. It's not good. I don't recommend it. Oh, so you're not impressed with the game then. Oh, well. We're nearly done on this boss, and then I can I can be a bit more chatty. Yeah, last horror survival I did was um, on stream, anyway. It was um, Alien Isolation. I'd never actually played it. It came up for free on, uh, what, what was it, Epic Store or something? Came up on one of those. Okay, not back. Shambling horror ads. <laughs> alien isolate, yeah. I was before before the alien even got involved, I was going <gasps> <laughs> I was getting scared even then. 
A complete, complete coward, cowardly cat. Little scaredy cat, whatever you call it. It's good. I mean, the original movie, the original Alien movie, scared the bejeebas out of me. I watched it far too young. Um, when it released, so I'd have been like eight or nine. When did it come out? 78? 77? Something like that. Anyway, it was like less than 10 years old when I saw it. It was on TV. Um, <clears throat> and I watched it on a little portable in my room. When I wasn't supposed to. Oh my god, it scared me senseless. So even now, like, the alien thing is like... Ugh. I mean, I, I watch it now, the movie doesn't scare me anymore, but... The game definitely did. Because they really caught the vibe of the game. Uh, of the uh, the film in that. I really did enjoy it, I thought it was pretty awesome. Um Okay, we're doing loot on cabbage net. So we can fondle the cabbage. Because of course you do. You always fondle the cabbage. So while we're doing that, I'll just say, Hello, yep, this is me, old fart gamer. Um, with a Santa beard. <laughs> I wasn't always like this. I'll put loot, run up your alts and chisel. Okay. All I want from it is, I think, the capsule I need. Uh, Should have dropped it. Corrupted Lord of Vangst and Sayonler is now following. Thank you very much, Slay, for the follow. Much appreciated. For the pride capsule, add two. You always fondle <laughs> the cabbage, Shark J, Sharky JPEG. Uh, this is a good welcome to the stream. Yeah, it, it's a in-game joke that um, the Aatrox build, the big muscular-looking build, um, is is neuter has no gender. So it, it, it said, well, what's in his pants? And someone once, very long time ago, said, cabbage. There's a cabbage down there. So it just became a bit of a meme within the game itself, you know? So since then, it, you know, cabbage net is a bot for rolling loot. And sort of became, everybody can fondle the cabbage. Oh, Sid, you know, and all that. I'll show Slay only your YouTube videos and make a place of AO. I haven't met with resistance. It's a it's a it's a massive steep learning curve, Anarchy Online, but it's a very rewarding game. Who won? How many laughing capsules were there? I didn't even look. There's two of them. Did we both win? Okay. Sharky JPEG, make your voices chocolate. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've had the chocolate comparison before. I'm not sure what that means, but thank you very much. Slayona. Oh my God, yes. Um, most people don't look at my streams. They just listen to them, apparently. L they, they like the tone of the voice. I don't know why. I just hear it and I just hear me. So I have no idea. Yeah, I've got about um, nearly 2,000 YouTube videos or something now. Something bonkers, anyway. Uh, Skyrim playthrough, Cyberpunk playthrough, loads of different stuff, so. Um, yeah. 
Told you, got a radio voice. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Um, you know, I was a musician, played in bands, used to sing, and, you know, I don't really sing anymore. I think my singing voice is pretty much gone. <clears throat> I was on the looking for teams, if you would please, clicks, um, <laughs> clicks invite so I can loop. In that case, what should I do? Watch a radio. Ah. He's now full-time Santa impersonator. Shut up and invite me to the raid group. Thank you very much. Right, I've now got to try and remember the rundown without dying a lot on this tune which has no self-healing really except what would be very suicidal self-healing running down here okay uh do one of the is it no no you've gone wrong and you're not even at the first thing yet no that's the door you came in through no 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 wait it's this one so gonna die on the way down, aren't I? Okay, second portal, um, and then I go. It's you can't get this wrong. It's a straight line. Come on, come on! Don't get it wrong. Don't get it wrong. Okay, and now it gets more complicated. Uh. Okay, so from here, it this is the this is the tricky run. I think, no. Oh fluff! I bet I've got it wrong already. Yes, you got it wrong already, you numpty. Should have trusted your instincts and gone the way you were going. Has all the ads in here chasing me now. Please forgive me, can't be in fight. Oh, how do I lose the trash? The deathly trash of deathliness. Stand here and try. Go on, reset, you buggers. I'm not fighting anything. Yeah, this this run is nigh on impossible. Yeah, I got on the lamp, but there's no lamp in the meat room, is there? That's the tricky bit. Oh, snagged the wall. Did it? Yes. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. I think I did it. I think I did it. Yeah, <laughs> if you're quick enough. Oh my god. Yay! Capsule. Why do we want the capsule? Because we want to make a big thing. Uh, I need space now. Uh, get rid of some of this rubbish. Right, okay. And... That's the full capsule. Yeah, primed. So take off the token board. And there's my 5k board. Yay! That's a lot better.
Now I've got to do the same thing on my keeper. <laughs> to get the keeper back in the fight. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, that, that they are a very nice uh, board to three and a half K HP. XP doesn't matter now. Addle off, addle death. I am back to a uh, keeper. You logged out without putting the keeper on the platform. I did. I didn't think of it. I don't know why. I'll get down on the keeper. The keeper's um, keeper will do it. I'll log off on here. I'll manage it. Don't worry. Or I'll die trying, and then I'll come and do this on the keeper, on the enforcer instead. One of the two, it will work, you watch. Yeah, anyway, so while I'm doing that and not panicking in the middle of a raid, uh, I usually stream about five nights a week, something like that, and it's usually Anarchy Online. I do, I do do other stuff now and again, but it's usually on days I don't normally stream. The raid broke the raid. He wanted to be more entertaining. No, I don't do silly stuff to be entertaining. <laughs> I don't. I don't put a raid group in jeopardy uh, just for entertainment. Right, there we go. Back on LFT, and I've got to remember what the hell it was I did. You watch. Even even though. I just ran down here. I won't remember what the hell I did. Small game with a small community. Quickest way to never be invited again. Yep. Yeah, th this is old school MMO, so your rep in the game actually counts for something. Me being a bit of a doofus on occasion is uh, definitely a thing. <laughs> but I, I may, no, I don't try and lie about it. Right, first one should be plain sailing. Should be, he said. Oh, for f How can I get it so f flipping wrong? He said, trying not to swear. Right, we can run through here. It's good the map keeps it's good that there is a map for this, but okay, so from here dead north. Come on. That was the easy one. Then boss room. Okay, from here we go. North. Yeah, I think I can do it. Nope, got the ad. <laughs> Snagging on these bloody walls, does it? Duh! Camera behave! Come on. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. That'll be why. Okay, I think they've reset. They have. Even though I've got the you're going to die music. Don't 
don't snag, don't snag, don't snag. Yes! And then we just need to get up off the ground at the back. Or maybe even not that. Yes. <laughs> what I should have done after we killed that boss was brought this tune here first and logged him in the safe zone. <laughs> we love all your moments. Okay, placeholders down. Time to zoom out. Uh, procs are running. I'll die on the fire spokes anyway. You just you just know that I will die on them. There, there is just no chance. Placeholder down. Pandem uh, pandemonium thingamies, which I don't need. This is a tough fight, this. The, not only is he hard to fight anyway, but he's <laughs> it's a complete pain in the arse. Yes, he is. He's definitely a, um, hmm. He's a bit of a bugger. I'll say that. Shattered mirror. We can hit him. Yay, fireballs are us. Thank God for blockers. He's worse when he warps to the middle and does the whole thing with the spikes. Chad is still up. He's said running away from <laughs> balls of death. Fiery balls of death. That's a very long is shattered, I'm sure his shattered has got longer. Fiery spikes of death, fiery balls of death, oh my god. There's just lots and lots of death, basically. Mirror of the Zan, just no damage on him and just hurts you. Got to get him on top of the rifts while all this is going on. Shattered. No, but he's gone to the middle. Guaranteed to die. Oh god, he's spawning them at the sides, isn't he? Running away from goodness gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs> you shake my nerves and rattle my bones. This is where it's easier if everybody's ranged, but then if everybody was ranged, they wouldn't have the various auras and buffs to make the raid work. Stay out of the fiery balls of death. Oh my god. Okay, mirrors back up anyway. Refresh that blocker. Okay, he's doing middle for diddle again. Random rift appears. Oh, yep, he shattered, he shattered. Throw him in the ball of fire. No. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on. <laughs> Trying to squeeze all your damage in before the mirror goes back up. Does it drop something nice? Yeah, you know the Awakened Beast armor? It gives you the components to make that. Benny Hill music would be appropriate. Yakety Sax is the name of that music, if you're interested. I know, because I used it in a video once, and that's who claimed my video. <laughs> when watching this hunting borgs is just fine or oh, hackers you mean yes i provide the entertainment and excitement and you just do the boring grindy stuff oh dear come on come on come on come on big scary thing with balls of death around your ankles you get you know you're getting older when your balls around your ankles that's definitely a thing <laughs> yeah, best way to find the name of a song is upload it to YouTube and see who claims it, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And yeah, we did a memorial for a fallen ark. I mean, someone had actually, you know, for reals, like, you know. And, um... At the same time we were doing it, there's like a radio show for uh, Anarchy Online. It's been going for years and years and years, about 18 years, 19 years. And um, they were running music at the same time. So I, I couldn't stream the music, obviously. But what I could do was quickly listen in and say, oh, they're playing this song and that, uh, you know, make a comment about that song. And about four seconds of Sultan's a swing and I got a copyright claim. And dead. <laughs> Surprise! I always die in here. There you go. And it doesn't matter that you last logged out elsewhere, you're not getting back in there. How did I die? I was stood in the fire. No, the, the, there's companies that exist now purely to buy the rights to music just to claim it. That, that is literally all they do. Um, they do nothing else. They don't produce music, they don't publish music, they don't um, promote music. They don't help people who are creating music to publish music. All they do is buy the rights to songs and just go around claiming, you know, four, four and like five hour video. And they claimed the entirety of that video because there was um, three seconds of Salt and the Swing on it. It's not like Mark Knopfler went and claimed it or whatever, you know, it's, it's his company or whoever that make money by claiming videos. Yeah, they are. They're parasitic, yeah, in nature. That, that is what they are. I mean, and the way it works on YouTube, their plat the, the way their platform works is if someone puts in a claim, the video's already live. Um, although I didn't publish it, they claim, they claim, they like auto claimed it. So, um, I muted it and then I had to wait three days for that portion of the video to be edited and, it, and, it, and in that time I downloaded it, cut it out manually, re-rendered it, re-uploaded it, <laughs> just to get rid of them. Um, you know, it's the copyright law is what's broken. So if you get a claim like that, what you have to do, if the video's already gone live, let's say, if you pull it, that's it, it's gone. But generally what you have to do is you put in a, no, I think this is fair use. Uh, it's four seconds of the song, no one is listening. It's not protecting the rights of the artist, which is what the law claims it does. Um, it claim it, it, it protects the rights of um, 
the company that hold the copyright because it wasn't cooked up by um, honest, decent lawyers and, and artists. No, no, it was, it, com, com, it was cooked up by a bunch of suits, you know. Um, no one lit, watched a four-hour stream of mine to listen to four seconds of Sultans of Swing instead of buying the song on iTunes, you know? Nobody did, you know, but they're still able to claim it. And if you if you say, no, I think it's fair use, what happens then is YouTube doesn't fight on your behalf. YouTube just tells them that you, you've said, no, it's fair use, and then it's up to them to come back and say yes or no. <laughs> that's, the, that's how it works. It's the most broken thing on, in the world. So that's why I'm so paranoid, like, I got my guitar out uh, one time and um, I was like, I can't play anything. I know thousands of tunes and I can't play any of them. How do full albums of songs exist on YouTube then? It's claimed. Uh, flip out freak or freak. Um, whoever owns the copyright to that music um, is claiming it. Yeah, the, the whole the whole system is broken. Don't worry about it. It's you know, it's no big deal, but Remember the lawmakers found it smart to use millions to make tobacco products in one color only. Or make folks stop smoking. Yeah. That it doesn't do anything. Putting pictures of, of cancerous lungs and tumours in mouths and stuff doesn't stop people smoking um, I'm guessing they've already just finished the boss then he, he was more than halfway down anyway so yeah I was just too close in the middle I was too close to the middle my own there you go. Did anything good drop? Yeah, whoever's uploaded the video, they, they don't... You know these channels that have hundreds of movie clips? They don't make any money for themselves. Which one does the bock? Because I could do the upgraded bock on my um, my enforcer. Someone tell me, Blix, is it the Machiavelli on the bock? Because I can't remember. Yeah, I'll bid on that then. You can use ad money for whatever you want. No, because YouTube runs ads on things even if your channel is not monetized. YouTube themselves have a clause that says we may run ads on your video. So when you agree, when you upload, you're agreeing to YouTube being allowed to run ads on your video if they choose to. <laughs> That's, this is how it works. It's owned by a corporation. You've got to remember that. And they exist to continually make money. In general. Well, yeah, yes and no. Roll results. Let's have a look. Uh, there we go. People, people won things. Yeah, you, you can't. You can't touch anything anymore because it's just become a war zone of, um, you know, uh, who wants to claim X, Y, Z, you know, it, it's just become that.
no point running in with this tune now, so yeah. Yeah, th that's the whole thing, whether or not you see the ad, the comp YouTube take revenue by playing ads on it, or allocating ads to the video, whether or not you see that ad is irrelevant. So if they, they say, oh, we ran your ad on this, it doesn't matter if one person's ad blocker blocked it. That company pays YouTube for them running the ad on that video. You know, <laughs> there's nothing else you can do. It's a good run, all the same. I think it was a good run, to be honest. It should be claims on YouTube, not the creators. No, that will not happen. They will protect themselves completely from that. Uh, and they do so it, it's on your channel YouTube will never take the fall for anything on their platform they will always make sure who, the the nobody you know that uploads it does it it was a claim it wasn't a strike it wasn't you know like end of channel kind of stuff they just said oh you know you've got four seconds of this on it we're claiming it But you, you, that's what you live with, and that's why, you know, I get my guitar on. So I says, I'll play this tune. I go, uh, I can play a version of it that's different enough that it won't trigger copyright. Um, but that's all I can do. Literally, I cannot, you know, I know how to play things perfectly note for note, and I can't play them because YouTube will just go bang. You can keep it up and put um, revenue share because it's a cover version the videos of my uh, like the old videos of my band and stuff they're all still there because I'm doing revenue share which means I get like 1% of whatever you know which is why when, when artists release cover versions the only people that make money from it are the copyright holders and the record publishing company the artists themselves are making no money on it they're, they're gaining traction and, and getting their their face out there that kind of thing so in in but the the huge chunk of the money they make you know is is not that it's from touring and when you stream music online the artist does not get paid so don't stream music because you're not supporting the artist you're supporting the publisher in the record company which is usually the same company but it's always been like that you see when you buy an an mp3 or whatever on iTunes then you're supporting the artist, but people stream music instead, and the artist doesn't get paid for it. The the, the publishers and, and record companies were very smart in that they went, oh, new service, streaming, so they don't have it, a copy of it, they're not owning a copy of it. So they tell the artist, well, they listen to it, but it's like listening on the radio, because, you know, they haven't got a copy of it, like, so it's not the same, so we're not paying you, because they haven't bought your record, or your song. Uh, and that's all hidden in legal jargon and stuff all there. Yeah, on iTunes, and if you want to really support an artist, go out and buy, go to their concerts. That's the only way they make money now. Just is. Um, Niall Rogers, dis you know, discovered all this with the lockdowns when he had to stop touring. He suddenly had no income. He was digging into all the money he's been saving over the years, and that's the guy that did, you know, has the rights on, like, the Halo theme on Chic Lafique and all those songs, and, you know, these massive, massive IPs that he's created. Um, but because people stream it or whatever, then he gets no money for it. <laughs> the law was there. It was written by the, the record company owners and, and whatnot, and there lawyers, the real, I mean, copyright lawyers really are shysters. They, they really, really are. Holy terrible people. If you've ever seen a movie called Dogma, um, there's a movie called Dogma um, by the Jay and Silent Bob team. It's really good. It's really funny. Um, but there's a scene where they go into a boardroom of people like this and 
just lay waste to them and yeah that's brilliant <laughs> vindication name them parasites yeah they are they are a parasite And it has no team any longer. And I think at nine o'clock, it's Savic must be on Christmas holidays or something for Savic to be up this late. Uh, is anybody else streaming Anarchy Online? Let's take a look. Yes, Twitch, I know that I am. Two toe, two run. Anarchy Online, one viewer, hardcore permadeath. It's late, but it was worth it. Should we go raid him? He's doing a hardcore thing. I don't know if... Is he talking to his audience? Let's have a listen. There's a microphone. I can hear his keyboard tapping. Mind you, he's got one viewer, so... Should we go raid him? Or has anyone got a suggestion? Okay, we'll go raid this guy. Let's make sure I've spelt his name properly. How slow are you, huh? Ha! Two toe run. Yeah, he is talking joke. on his chat. So, okay, I'm going to go raid this guy. Thank you all for coming. I will be back tomorrow at approximately the same time. Check the schedule. It's on the schedule button. <laughs> and uh, thank you all for coming. Thanks for the resubs, the follows, and the raid. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. All aboard the raid train. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Everybody on. Let's go give them the shock of their life. Go from one viewer to like nearly 40. That'd be kind of cool. All right, folks. Bye for now.